I'm Anjali and that's Sadie and together we gaily gad about around in our 92 camper van Jezebel. Hey so yeah we've got a whole bunch of firsts today. Today uh, right now uh, I'm doing my first wild camp uh, in Jezebel so we've driven down to um, Northamptonshire where uh, Camp Quirky is going on. Uh, it's uh, 7.30 at night and uh, we found a nice little park up through uh, Park for Night, uh, the app. And so, yeah, we're going to stay here this evening, uh, cook some dinner. Uh, first time cooking dinner in Jezebel. Uh, we're going to go for a little walk just around the area. Apparently there's some deer nearby that only come out at this time of night. So we're going to do that, have a little explore of the area, uh, cook something and uh, yeah, just uh, chill out in Jez. Maybe play some games, that'd be good. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I'm all parked up, roofs up, and I've even got my lights on, yay! Uh, which is very cool, so I've not had to use anything yet, so uh, getting used, getting to use the lights and getting to use the cooking appliances and things is going to be very, very exciting. Um, yeah, it's been an okay -ish drive, Sadie's not, still not a fan of it, so we try. I try not to drive for more than two hours at a time, uh, so this was an hour and a half's drive. And it got some good reviews. Um, I've just spoke to a couple of local people who were walking their dog and uh, they said it's a lovely area and they told me about the deer. Uh, they also said I was very brave to stay here tonight. Um, I think just because it's not really for them. But yeah, this place gets good reviews and I'm not worried. And if I you know, feel at any point worried and uh, like I shouldn't be doing it, then I'll, uh, I'll move on. That's the joy of my house on wheels is that if I don't like the place, I can find somewhere else. Um, but yeah, it gets really good reviews, so uh, fingers crossed it'll be fine. Uh, if it's not, there'll be another vi message where we going, oh, it was horrible, I'm leaving. Um, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, so, we're just out on a, a little evening stroll. Um, yeah, this is just where we parked up. It's quite nice little, uh, like, bridal path. Um, so yeah, it'll be really nice for tomorrow morning to, uh, to have a little wander. After breakfast, uh, yeah. So, yeah, I didn't see any deer. I haven't seen any deer yet, though. I was promised deer. Um, but there's a couple of big, loud, barky dogs that you may have just seen in the background, uh, and they may have scared off the deer because they were very barky. Lovely, but incredibly barky. Um, but yeah, so we're just gonna head back to the van so I can start cooking uh, some dinner. Uh, which would be nice, not sure what I'm going to eat. I did stock up on food before I came, so uh, I do have food available. Uh, yeah, it's a strange, new, exciting experience. Uh, having to, to cook in a van and make sure the power's working. I know that my solar panels are working. Looks very nice here, very quiet. I can hear some church bells going in a little town nearby. There is like a main road, so I can hear some traffic, but I think, you know, once it's darker later and uh, we've sort of settled in for the night, it'll be fine. Sadie, come on. I've got to go back to the van. 
<laughs> Sadie very much just wants to stay in nature please and thank you and, and let's not go to the bed actually though she has realized that I brought her bed with me so she's she's a little bit more like oh okay there's somewhere for me to sleep I see well that's good so hopefully that will make her feel a little bit more at home uh, yeah well let's uh, get back to the van and uh, Let's start cooking some dinner. Uh, good morning. Uh, we have woken up after our first uh, sleep in the uh, wild camping. Uh, successfully, wow. We weren't bothered. It was very peaceful and quiet. Uh, very nice. So we just got up and dressed everything. And uh, first things first, before we go on a walk, uh, a cup of coffee. Yes, I think that is in order. Right, now I have my coffee ready and I can start thinking about the day. Um, I'm going to obviously go for a uh, walk around here because it's quite quiet and nice. Um, we've already seen a couple of people come along with their dogs so uh, it's a nice walk for Sadie, uh, lovely girl. Uh, we're off to Camp Quirky. Uh, it opens at 2 so we've still got uh, quite a few hours to sort of hang around and, and mooch. So I'm definitely going to do some walks and then I've got to do some work um, and then have some lunch and then we'll head over to uh, the show ground. <laughs> Thank you. 
So we just had a little walk through uh, Kelmarsh Tunnel. It was indeed very, very dark even with my torch and my camera in, uh, almost pitch black. But I'm very proud of Sadie because she made it all the way through, stayed by my side until she could see the lights and then <laughs> went running basically to get out. Uh, but it's actually the perfect uh, backdrop to uh, one of the games that I'm going to be doing a playthrough and review of which is called Final Girl. Uh, so that's going to come out as its own separate video and actually the thought of having being the final girl in a horror TV, horror movie uh, and having you know some axe world in maniac come and chase it after you through that tunnel uh, I think it's going to be a really good backdrop really atmospheric for the game so uh, yeah I'm going to do some tweaking with it put it on some loops and I think it's going to be really good fun uh, in a totally scary type of way uh, but it's also just a really cool tunnel. Um, I don't know if you're ever in Northamptonshire, like, you know, the park up's free and it's just around the corner from it. And it's just under 500 metres long and it's, yeah, it's just really cool to be in it. It's very atmospheric, it's very uh, cacophonous. There's a bit in the middle where all the, the water from above is like dripping through. Um, it's really cool. Uh, so yes, highly recommend. Go to uh, Kelmarsh Tunnel, just here. So we are off now to Camp Quirky, leaving the Kelmarsh Tunnels uh, behind us and off a whole minute up the road to the campsite. Uh, yeah, I'm very excited. I've already spoken to a couple of people who are on their way there as well. And uh, yeah, I'll get back to you once uh, we've found our pitch and set up for the weekend. Hello, hey, so uh, we are parked up at Camp Quirky in the uh, Camp uh, Quirky uh, area which is uh, delightful everyone has been super friendly and uh, helping us like settle in and just be lovely we're currently inside because it's absolutely tipping it down uh, it was it was threatening to do so earlier and it's just it's just got worse and it's bloody cold I've got gloves on because <laughs> it's, it's so cold so me and Sadie who is there yes uh, are just snuggling on the bed uh, hiding from the rain for a little bit until uh, we decide to go out for something to eat because they're, the only thing that's open at the moment is the um, food trailers um, yes so rather than cook tonight we're gonna go find some food uh, yes we're, uh, we're having a really lovely time uh, everyone has been super friendly and welcoming and the area that we're in like everyone is sort of open door policy uh, and it's yeah just been really nice uh, but it's just got we've been outside for all day and it's the rain has just got too much we've called it quits we've called it quits for the moment but yeah still having fun uh, just yeah coming for a little bit of a little bit of warmth under a blanket I'm hoping to steal Sadie's uh, Sadie's warmth because she's not being warm and she's been inside out of the rain so uh, yeah that's uh, day one so Thursday at Camp Quirky has been meeting people finding uh, a nice spot and uh, yeah now just waiting for it to stop raining so we can go get some food um, yeah so maybe there'll be more filming later on but for now that's it 